Karten sehr Hab in der Damn you is the money! Damn you is the chocolate eggs! Damn you Uber Eats! Damn it all to hell! You see, this is my life. There's nothing else, it's just us. The cameras and all those wonderful people in the talk. Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up now. To retro 70s skid i hope you had a really lovely easter break i myself had a little slight scary brush with obesity but i'm back on the straight and narrow back on the keto but yeah we went there for a while tonight with alan silvestri's theme of back to the future i'm doing my little flying car collection it's an eclectic mix but i've been obsessed with flying cars ever since i was very little when i first saw the jetsons and then chitty chitty bang bang and then the thunderbirds and then start and that went on so first of all, this unusual little thing here, don't know if it's a flying car, but it probably could be. It's a reproduction of a 90, of a vintage, I'm saying 40s or 50s, could even be 30s, concept, very futuristic concept car um, of what their vision of the future would be like. And it just looks like it could just take off and fly away. So to me it flies, but it's, um, it just glides along the ground. It's beautiful and I love that. And that's tin. Don't make it like that anymore. I love the red. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So um, I'd love doing one of those today, like full size. Yeah. And then moving on, of course, to the Jetsons. This I just picked up at the Regic shop very recently. And I do have one of these similar, which I always complain about. And I did in one of my Jetsons videos when I showed this. It has little wheels at the bottom of it. And the capsule car never had wheels. So I'm going to just do a little box opening and just have a look at this. Because it comes with a little stand, I think. See, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it goes, with no wheels at the bottom. And that's beautiful. And that's got this little stand. That's more like it. Good on your Hot Wheels for finally getting it right. So. And doesn't it bug you that it's 2019 and we still don't have any flying cars? Well, we do, but like, we're not driving, flying them. No. Which is never going to happen, I don't believe, because... We won't have flying cars until they can fly themselves because half of these idiots on the road are already, can you imagine them having the power to fly? That's just horrendously scary. So that's, we're never going to be able to fly, but we will see flying cars, I do believe. So then, chitty chitty bang bang. How does it go, Sal? Chitty chitty bang bang. Uh, oh, oh. Sorry. Really? <laughs> Oh, you pretty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, we love you, and that's all I know. So, but yeah, that's my beautiful uh, corgi chitty chitty bang bang from the 60s. And the wings fold up. I just got to be very careful with it. I do have the back fin, but of course, something I couldn't find just before the show. And it's got all the people, which is really rare. It looks fabulous. And it's a lovely, I do have the smaller matchbox size as well, but this is way better. And then... Moving on to the Thunderbirds. Now, I have just recently shown this in my Thunderbirds video. Have a look at it if you haven't seen it already. This is the modern, from the 2015 television television show of the Thunderbirds, are Go. And this is the Lady Penelope. The wings pop out. I'll show it again. So yeah, that's the that's the beautiful flying FAB one. Is that a Rolls Royce? It is a Rolls Royce. It was a Rolls Royce in the original. And then a couple of the remakes, they weren't allowed to get the license again. But then in this new one, they were allowed to get the license. That's why it's a Rolls again. Yeah. So beautiful. beautiful. And then of course, after that, 
getting into the 70s was the Star Wars Land Speeder. It's beautiful, is it? That's just so heavy. I have shown this before as well in my pre. Oh, there we go, Star Wars video. Now, this shows about flying or hovering cars. So, flying or hovering, as long as it's off the ground. So, that's the beautiful Land Speeder. Would love one of those as well. That pops up. And it looks like it's hovering. I always love that. And then, in the early 80s, I saw Blade Runner. Which fell in love with the spinner. Is that going to work? No. It's come off. This is usually hanging from my background. I want to swear so badly. There we go. Oh, let's go. This has got blue. That's one of the Blade Runner cars, and I have shown this before. I do have four the four original ones that came out. It's one of the one in the damaged packet. But as I said before, when I did show these before, this has never been really played with, only displayed, and the paintwork has just crazed and looks like it's been played with in a sandpit. But um, that's how I'll, they've gone, and which is really disappointing. But I just couldn't put my hands on the other two to do this video. So um, if you want to have a look at them, go back to my Star Wars video and have a look. No, not the Star Wars one. Oh, I've done so many now, I just can't remember. Star Wars. But uh, no, it wasn't. Anyway. Um, and then, a little bit further in the 80s, 1985, is Back to the Future with the Flying DeLorean. Um, I have two of the larger die-cast metal ones. Um, I do, this is from the first one. Because it has this, what's this, this thing where he, um, at the very end to hit the electricity and it goes up and hits the clock tower and he gets the power to Antenna. take off. That'll do. And uh, this is from three. This is the box to it. I love how the inside, even the side walls have Back to the Future on it. And then this is the part three. I just wish it, it, you could get a set where it comes with the stallions pulling it along the ground in the desert. How old are they, go? I got these a few years ago online. Um, I'm trying to open the doors the normal way. There we go, the suicide doors. And I don't have the part two, and I would like that because that's got the Mr. Fusion on the back, which I just love the Mr. Fusion. But these smaller ones, these Hot Wheel ones, they're in the flying mode. The wheels are turned up in the flying mode. Yeah. And I do think this is from part two because that looks like a Mr. Fusion in the back, where you just put your scraps and it turns it to fusion energy. Yeah, so they're both the same. They're from like 2015, I think. So... And then, oh, also with Back to the Future, I've got the two cards, the two um, figures on the cards in the um, retro look from um, Reaction. I've done these before. And they have been opened. And then, moving on, all these were all fantasy, of course, all fantasy from movies, whatever, TV shows. This is the Moller Sky Car. This is a real flying car. This came out in 2002 by Dr. Peter Moller. Uh, he invented it and it actually flies, but it's still so expensive they, hasn't, they haven't been able to mass produce it. And this, these don't turn up, but in real life, both these engines turn up so it can vertically take off and land and also fly. And this hangs up behind me as well. So the canopy opens up to show inside but this is a real car you can actually see it on YouTube Wow! so isn't that beautiful so this is real this is not from an artist's no, mind for a movie it's it's real so <laughs> so that's it that's my oh 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 I forgot I went out of order 
And how can, of course, how can you forget the Star Wars Phantom Menace Anakin Skywalker's pod racer? And I've just noticed one of the these things are missing. I know I've got it, but I, I, it's never fallen off before. But look, they open up. I've only just realised actually that I had it on before the wrong way. So this is the right way it goes. It's got Anakin. Now, if you go back and have a look at uh, one of my Christmas videos, I show this because at Christmas time, I take the engine off and I put six silver robotic reindeer on here and he's got presents and a Santa hat and he's like an Anakin Skywalker right. Star Wars sleigh. Do you remember that, Sal? Yes, I do. And um, people love it. They get a, lot of, get a lot of comments. So this is how it's supposed to look. And I found Anakin, which was missing during the Christmas video. But yeah, that's the pod racer, which I do love. And um, but it's really difficult to store. So oh, and this this should be the the power beam in the middle, which has got to be glued, I do believe. Oh no, does that just push in there? I don't know. Something like that, and that doesn't work. Oh yeah. Yeah, it does. So yeah, the beam does go in there, I think. That's the right way. But um, is that everything now? So yeah, that's my very small fantasy and reality flying car collection. And thank you for joining me. I don't know what I'm doing next up time. It's probably going to be a Bratz or something because my last few Bratz videos have really done really well. So um, if you like this sort of stuff, give me a like, subscribe, let me know. And we'll go from there. So thank you very much and good night. Thank you. been sprung in the makeup chair. <sighs> Where is Mama Sita? She's supposed to be fanning me. Just relax. Diva. Oh, that's better. Relax the jowls. They are relaxed. <laughs> Hosanna, oh, Hosanna, hey, Zanna, Zanna, Zanna. You know, with the palm trees and JC Superstar. No, oh, he had to be there. I was in that show. You were everywhere. <laughs> this is only because of my combination skin, not because I have wrinkles or anything. Are you done? No. I stuffed it up. It's all <laughs> No. What do I pay Just makeup people for? Three. I just can't get good help these days. <laughs> Sorry. 70s kid. I hope you all. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Are we ready? Ready. Again. Yeah. Three, two, one. I want to swear so badly. There we go. How does it go, Sal? Gigi Bang Bang! Uh, oh, oh. Sorry. Really? <laughs> oh, you pretty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, we love you, and that's all I know. It's the biggest one, too, and off I got it. How can you forget the pod racer, Anakin Sky and it's Start again. Anakin Skywalker's pod racer from The Phantom Menace. And I just, when I went, when I went and found it before, I just found it's missing a thing. I'm sure I've got it, but, um,. How does it work? I think I've got it around the right way. I haven't seen the movie for ages. It, it might actually be around the wrong way. I'll have to check. I'll have to check because it'd be really embarrassing if I'm showing this and it's the wrong way around. But if it would make sense.